You know, the COVID pandemic had many healthcare organizations rethinking how they could recruit and retain staff. And in tonight's To Your Health report, 13's Melissa Bruner learned what changes it's brought to one Topeka hospital. Nurses have been in high demand for years, but the pandemic shed new light on the strain on the system. COVID definitely exposed a lot of those problems that our nationwide healthcare system has um, when it comes to the nursing shortage. Um, and so, I think coming out of COVID, we've really been able to be innovative on how can we change the systems that we have in place. Stormont Vale's Director of Magnet and Clinical Excellence, Paula Sanders, said Stormont implemented several changes to improve how they recruit and keep nurses. They launched a new workplace violence prevention program, improved their affordable child care offerings, and started several ways to support nurses, including a nurse residency program, teaming new nurses with mentors. Some things sound really good in a book, and then whenever you get to see the patient in front of you, it might not be the same thing you thought it was going to be. And so you really want somebody there to support you um, and to help you through that transition. Stormont also has new partnerships with high school students, exposing them to healthcare careers earlier. To be honest, I think COVID scared people away from wanting to be a nurse or wanting to be in those areas. And so we've really had to think about how can we influence people to care for their community and people still want to care for their community. Sanders says the pandemic showed nurses need a caring environment too in which to work. Stormont will open the doors to show prospective nurses what it could be like with an upcoming end of summer bash. They can go to the units. We will have unit tours where they can see what the practice environment looks like and then they can talk one on one um, with somebody from the benefits team. She says it's important they reach not only those looking for their first job but the veterans too. We need those people that can take people underneath their wing. We need the experts at the field. And then we also need new um, nurses that are freshly graduating from nursing school. They bring a whole different perspective. Melissa Bruner, 13 News. The end of summer bash, by the way, is coming up 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Friday, September the 8th. That's next week at Stormont's Poses Education Center. It's going to feature tours and free food, too. And if you'd like to learn more about health care job opportunities, keep in mind Stormont and other health care organizations post those job openings on their websites.